Theatre is like doing those, those high-speed ski jumps. You stand at the top, you take a breath, and you pitch yourself down. And whatever cock-ups happen, you know you've still got to jump off the end and make it look good. American TV made me learn that you prepare a performance alone and you have it completely ready and you go in and you do it regardless of anything else going on around you, regardless of anybody else's performance. I, I learned my place in working for Polanski. I wanted to question actually some of the lines. I wanted to change some of the lines. And Ewan just said, don't, don't do it. He said it's insulting. That assumes that he hasn't really thought about this. And you know with Polanski, he has thought about every syllable. Polanski quite often spent his time like this um, which, you know, as an actor, is quite depressing when you look at the director and he's got his head in his hand. As I said, you know, speaking as an actor, it's quite hard for me to see you with your head in your hands after I've just done that. And he didn't say anything at the time, but at lunchtime he came to me and said, when my head's in my hands, I'm trying to see what I saw in my head when I wrote the scene. And once I understood that the pain that he was suffering was that we weren't aligning with his vision. Once I knew I was really, all I was there to do was to recreate his vision, then I was fine, once I understood that. There are other directors who want you to have ideas, and he simply doesn't want you to. Once I knew that, I stopped bothering. No, it's not bothering, I stopped trying to make that happen and tried to recreate his vision. People say, what is tiring about filming? It looks like it's so much sitting around. And the, my biggest note to anybody is, is, most of your energy is spent getting on with people if nobody tells you at drama school that, that acting, particularly filmmaking, is an incredibly sociable thing and there are people working on you and with you all day. Some people say that you, you, should, you, you, know, you should only focus on the performance and you shouldn't bother with any of that stuff, but I actually find no matter how controversial and miserable and emotional a scene is, if I'm not at peace with everyone around me, then I actually can't concentrate on the scene. And if I feel there's some shit going down, I can't cry or laugh or, or do the scene. Tears and tension and drama come for me when I'm relaxed and, and very passionate scenes uh, only happen when you're, when you're not stressed out. And so you just have to not give a damn. My survival technique has been, oh, oh it's okay, I, no, I didn't really want to do it anyway. <laughs> to walk away from something before it walks away from you. I sort of feel that if you push too hard for something and fail, I can't bear the public humiliation, so I sort of try and keep a dignified distance and let things come to me.